السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه والصلاة والسلام التامان الأكملان على سيدنا محمد رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وعلينا معهم بفضل من الله ومنا So uh, sister asked me to talk about my uh, experience This is going to be very boring So I will not talk about me, not about my experience uh, I am just a regular Muslim woman uh, trying to help uh, herself first, her family, her community, and then I have a lot of international activities. There is no room now to talk about this. See, she from the beginning said, talk about the experience of women in your, women in your country and uh, the, the learning you have achieved and you have acquired from your experience. So I will commit to her instructions And uh, my name is uh, Huda Awadi. Uh, I, I am currently the senior advisor of the Minister of Higher Education on uh, education policies and the strategic planning. But originally, I am a scholar in Aqidah, and I teach at the university uh, this uh, subject. Uh, in uh, all my life, I have learned something from my father. Uh, may Allah bless him now, he, he died uh, 10 years ago, uh, uh, that things are never measured by quantity. It's not how much you did. It's not a number. It's not a weight. It's not length. It's not width. He taught me wisdom. He said things are, are, are measured by their depth. It's if you measure things by depth, they last in memories. And if you measure th uh, things by the impact, impact of outcomes, the things that have been achieved, have they uh, occurred, have they changed something in people's lives? Have they added a quality life to these people? What is the impact of all the work you have been doing? Because we can work a lot. Each of us is given strength from Allah and capacities and capabilities to work. But what is the impact? What is your niya? What is the intention? From where you are getting the help? Are you relying on yourself? In your uh, family name? In your wealth? On, on the facilities given to you by the government or by your connections, or you are extracting your real uh, help and support and guidance from the Creator who knows your intention. And He will help you according to your intention. There is a verse in Surah Al-Kahf that I'm sure you read every Friday that shakes my heart when I read her and gives me shivers in my skin. It said, قُلْ هَلْ نُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِالْأَخْسَرِينَ أَعْمَالَ الَّذِينَ ضَلَّ سَعْيُهُمْ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَهُمْ يَحْسَبُونَ أَنَّهُمْ يُحْسِنُونَ الصُّنْعَةِ Allah ordered uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to inform people. He said, you want me to tell you who are the real losers? Those who are losing their life and their life thereafter? Those who have been working in life, thinking that they have been doing the right thing, but their intentions and their deeds were nothing. These are the losers. So what women have done in my country, what women have done in all the world, whatever success and achievement is done by a woman anywhere in the world, it has its repercussion and it has its impact on all the other women. Today, our, the logo of our meeting is be as great as Khadija. Khadija died more than 1,400 years ago. We are still taking her as a model, and so many are like her. I come from Qatar. Qatar is a wealthy country. The government has provided all citizens, men and women, with all possible facilities you can ever think of. Budget-wise, uh, policies, uh, uh, laws, legislations, to make the Qatari citizen, man or woman, someone who is carrying and conveying 
principles and achieving high goals. We have something called Qatar National Vision 2030, QNV. This is, the, for us, is a reference. What we are going to uh, justify all the money spent on us, all the efforts, and all the facilities. 20 years ago, Qatari women were uh, deprived of many, many, many civil rights. They were not allowed to, to drive a car. Today, Qatari women are pilots. They are driving planes. This was not, didn't come to them in an easy way. There, was, there were a lot of struggles on the women's side, but also a lot of political support and political willingness. The wife of the former uh, emir, Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa, his wife, Sheikh Moza, is a, a, a case story in Qatar. All the means she has as the wife of the, of the ruler of the emir and all the capacities and the budget, she has oriented and guided all this to change women's uh, situation in her country. We are the product of this uh, spirit and we are the product of this willingness and of this politics. We have no reason, we have no justification, and we have no merit if we achieve what the, and the Malaysian women or Syrian women or Iraqi women or Palestinian women who are in appalling situations and are still achieving and still insisting and still with their perseverance and never to uh, fall their hands low and say, we cannot do it. You know, I'm teaching at the university and I'm, I'm teaching uh, master students. I am their supervisor. Most of my students are men and not women. And the person who contributed to my education and to give me the motivation and who supported me all my life, there are two in my life. It was my father who pushed me with all his strength. He wasn't rich, but he believed in women's role in society. And I remember that when I applied to Sorbonne University, you know Sorbonne University in Paris, it's like Harvard in America or even higher. And there were only three seats for uh, non-French to study in Sorbonne. And uh, I told my father that now I applied and I presented a very strong uh, uh, dossier, very strong file. What is left now is the interview. And this is going to be, uh, for them, it is the cut score between the files, paper, and the real personality of the student. And I told my father, I think they will take only three. There are only three seats. You know what was his answer? He said, this is not my problem. Even if there is only one seat, it has to be you. He didn't let me a, a, a choice. Then I married when I was 19 years old. And I married a brave man. I send him my regards from here. I was 19 years old. I was first year university. And he helped me to continue my studies and to have two PhDs. He knew how much I wanted to achieve. He promised my father on the marriage of my day. My father, he said, I won't ask money. I won't ask you to build her a castle. I won't ask you to guarantee her future or to bring her anything. I want you to give me a promise now, here, in front of everybody, that you will never step in her way to knowledge and to having her degrees. And he promised and he committed to his promise. I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I'm a daughter, I'm an aunt. I'm a regular person. I have my drawbacks. I have my limits, but in Qatar, we have a very important thing that should push us forward and should, we should become a model to all women that it's not a matter of how much you do or how much you have, because we have many Qatari women, no matter you prepare for them, no matter you, what you provide them with, they are not achieving. It is a personal motivation, believing in you, believing that you were created by Allah, not to be a, just a forgotten number in the register of your municipality. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in his uh, Quran, أَنِّي لَا أُضِيعُ عَمَلَ عَامِلٍ مِّنْكُمْ مِنْ ذَكَرٍ أَوْ أُنْثَى بَعْضُكُمْ مِنْ بَعْضٍ No difference. 
the support of Allah to his subjects is, it is not based on, it's not sex based. So because a man is going to help you more or you are a woman, he's going to help you less. All the skills Allah has created humans with, they were divided equally. It is left now, what is the environment, the social environment, the political uh, setting, the, 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 the people mindset. Of course, in Qatar, we have achieved a lot. The government, because we, ha we are a conservative country and women couldn't go study uh, abroad, the government has brought the most renowned, famous universities home to Qatar. We have Well Cornell, we have Calgary Mellon, we have Virginia Commonwealth, we have Sorbonne University, we have um, Calgary University. We have eight international most renowned universities. So those who want to achieve, everything is there. Now I want to say that I cannot find words to thank the people here. Uh, attending a conference with this size, managed, organized, run, facilitated by 100% women, this is, for me, impact. This is achievement. Thank you. Terima kasih.